There's also concern over the virus, obviously, at the Summer Olympics. The opening ceremony today, joyful inside, and the protests outside, concern there over holding the games amid this pandemic. And the new numbers tonight inside the Olympic bubble. ABC's James Longman in Tokyo again tonight. Tonight, an evening of celebration and of protests as the Tokyo Olympics gets underway. While tennis star Naomi Osaka lit the Olympic cauldron, marking the official start of the Summer Games, outside, protesters concerned about holding the Games during a pandemic clashed with police. Listen to that. That's the sound of police shouting at protesters. There are quite large crowds of them on this street down here below. We're not allowed to go because we're in the Olympic bubble. But apparently, they can hear these chants inside the stadium. The 68,000-seat stadium had fewer than 1,000 guests, most of them foreign dignitaries. A $1.5 billion arena welcoming athletes from some 200 competing countries. And among those there, First Lady Jill Biden. Only a third of Team USA appearing. Flag bearers Sue Bird from the WNBA and baseball's Eddie Alvarez leading the US delegation. But notably absent the women's soccer team and Team USA gymnasts, including Simone Biles, who held their own ceremony at the hotel outside the Olympic Village. On social media, Biles pointing to COVID concerns. The pandemic looming large over the day's excitement, with 19 more COVID cases linked to the Olympics reported, bringing the total to at least 110. <laughs> And all night outside the stadium, the streets filled with Japanese citizens carrying signs saying, cancel the Olympics. Protesters furious as new COVID cases have risen in Tokyo ahead of the Games. But earlier today, the executive director at the IOC telling our Amy Roback he's confident with where things stand despite the opposition. Is there a scenario in which these Games could be cancelled? There's no scenario in which they can be cancelled. They say the Games will go on. James Longman with us live from Tokyo again tonight. And... James, now it's not just the pandemic they have to deal with. They're also watching the forecast for the coming days. A major tropical storm now forecast to hit parts of Japan uh, early next week, bringing heavy rain and winds. Yeah, David, there is a storm forming in the Philippine Sea south of Japan. It could hit Monday or Tuesday. Now, it's not known if it's going to impact these Olympics, but even if it doesn't hit Tokyo, there are still plenty of events outside of the capital that could be impacted. David. All right, James Longman, our thanks to you and to Amy Robach there all week for us. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.